here in the historic courtroom in the Shire Hall, and I'm joined by Graham Thomas, chair of the Civic Society. Now, we, we've been looking at and enjoying the Blue Plaque Trail, and I think you had a very important role to play in that, didn't you? Well, I, I'm pleased to say uh, I did. When I moved to Monmouth in 2001, I looked around and I thought, there's so much history here, uh, but there are no blue plaques. And um, over the years, I tried various avenues to try and get funding for blue plaques. And then in 2007, I had a meeting with the town council and they, they agreed with the idea and they said, yes, we'll come in with it with a joint project with you. Uh, previously, I'd, I'd already got some costs, so they knew the cost parameters uh, because I'd uh, gone to all the members of the Civic Society and I said, make a list of everything interest in Monmouth that you'd like a blue plaque on. Uh, and on that original list was 24. But of course, the town council, they've only got limited funding. So we did, in the first phase, we did uh, 11. Mm -hmm. That was from May 2008 to May 2009. And uh, the first plaque being the one on the Mono Bridge right. in, in May 2008. Then, uh, uh, sometime later, we went back to the town council for funding for the remainder, right. the other 13. Mm -hmm. And they agreed to it, but they said we didn't have funding for the Guide to the Blue Plaque Trail, right, which see. they'd helped us with the first uh, trail where there was a, a guide for 11 plaques, mm -hmm. and we wanted it to expand it for the 24. Yeah. Uh, so we went to Gavo, and they said, yes, we'll give you 80% of the funding, and you'll have to buy 20%, but it'll have to be in Welsh as well, mm -hmm. which would obviously have built the cost up. So we came to a compromise, which we agreed with uh, Gavo, that uh, the guide would be in English, but there would be a t PDF version in Welsh online. Right. That, that came out at the, uh, the blue plaques, the final blue plaque was May 2010, and the, the, the guide coincided with that. Uh, but you've got plans for the future too, haven't you? Well, I thought uh, a lot of the, uh, the plaques are you're talking about buildings that no longer exist or they've been altered considerably. The prime example, of course, is Monmouth County Jail, where the gatekeeper's house is still there, which is the uh, head teacher of the girls' school house, but the jail is gone. So I thought it would be great if we could have a heritage trail plaque with the photographs embedded in it of how, how the various sites and buildings were, like, uh, and also the Shire Hall, the, the building we're in now. Yeah. And I thought that would be very evocative and add to the interest of the Blue Plaque Trail. But with centrally in it, a, a lovely map showing them where all the, the plaques are. Brilliant. And, 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 and these would be ceramic plaques, I think. Uh, well, I, again, I went back to Ned Hayward and he said, oh, I've just developed a new process right. where it will be a white porcelain plaque and we can embed photographs in the plaque. So I thought, that sounds Exotic, good. Yes. Weatherproof. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the line we're going along. Brilliant. And I think Ned has given you a good guarantee, hasn't he? Well, <clears throat> some, of the parts of, some of the parts are in, in colour, lettering, and it is a, a lovely uh, picture of St Mary's Georgian Church in uh, 1800 in colour and he said he's going to guarantee the colour fastness of this sign for two centuries. Brilliant, that should, that should do the trick. Absolutely. Now, now tell me, the very first <coughs> plaque you mentioned was on the Mano Bridge and I think you had a very key role to play in that, didn't you? Well, um, that was because it's an ancient monument, of course, Ned had to use special mortar, he got special lime mortar, yes, yeah. not his normally quick set in cement, mm -hmm. which is solid in half an hour. Yeah. Lime mortar takes 24 hours. So uh, I thought, they, they did it in the morning, and I thought, I'll keep a watch on it as the school children are meandering past. Because yes. what the ch children do, they poke. Yes. So duly, they did, they were walking past, and they look, and they. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And when they'd all ferried past, I went up and I smoothed it with my index finger. Excellent. So that little groove is me. 
<laughs> Excellent. And, and, and that's, a, that's a cracking sort of bit of Monmouth history to have, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and, Absolutely. It, and it's a fascinating trail. Uh, and I think everyone will enjoy it. Uh, so very well done indeed. Thank you very much.